My role in the film is Aunt Liz, and I'm with Uncle Larry, played by Kendra Cross, and together we just provide that unit uh, for our beautiful daughter Jess, played by Angelica Washington, and welcome with open arms, uh, Sam, played by Chloe Bailey, of course. And so a lot of yes. a good 50 plus percent of my time is just our home, and it's just the four of us. And it's, it's powerful showcasing and image and representation of positive Black family and community. So we are happy to provide that. And so it wasn't until the competition portion at the end that I was able to share uh, the, the, the stage with and meet so many of the amazing cast members. Movie magic, however, is you shoot yeah. once in this way, then you turn it around and it's something completely different. So turning it around, I only got a chance to hear and react to some of the actual okay. competition. So that's a long story short to say, I am so excited to see this movie. <laughs> really see the magic that I know and the celebration of gospel music that I know is part of the film. So, so I'm excited too, um, blessed and honored as a, as a part of the film, but also a fan and I can't wait to be in the seat. Nice. Who did you pull? Who did you pull from to be Aunt Liz? Oh man, my mama. I, I know my mama's my mama and not my auntie, but my <laughs> mom is full of so much love, and I just think that's just what Aunt Liz was just just loving, just yeah. open arms of Southern cooking self. That's, that's my mama all day. I love this picture of you oh. and Chloe. Chloe Bailey is amazing. And you never know, like, it is her time, first of all. Um, and you never know yes. what someone's going to be like in real life, especially someone as as on and popping as Chloe is. But she was a truly genuine person and human. And I, I talk about this, the time on set, I remember... You know, a lot of times on set, you say cut and people will go straight to their phone, right? No interaction yeah, or anything yeah. Chloe wasn't like that. And I even remember a time during a break where her and Angelica, um, who is Jess, who is my daughter in the movie, would meditate during the middle of, of a break and not be on their phones and just put positive energy on the set, just calling for peace and love. And and that is definitely a reflection of the person and a reflection of how it was on set. It was such a positive place where people were just happy to be there. So again, just an honor to be part of all of that. I want to know, did the, did the Holy Ghost show up? The, the, the praise teams was praising, okay? <laughs> now, the Holy Ghost is always somewhere in the mix. So I'm going to say yes now. Now, did anybody start uh, speaking in tongues or, or, or dancing up and down the aisle? I won't quite say that. But um, there was definitely something greater that was there. And again, I think that's a testament to, to the, positive, um, the positive, feel good, everybody nature of, of the movie and what it was about. It was about Sure, music, sure, following your dreams, but you add the layer of God or just recognizing something greater within us or that's part of it, then that's a whole nother exponential level uh, to what's going on. So, oh yeah, so the Holy Spirit was there, uh, but it wasn't in the script for somebody to uh, <laughs> speak in tongues there, but but the Holy Spirit, he, she was there for real. Tina Gordon, you got to be yes. directed by a black woman. She's yes. done so much great work. What was it like being directed by a black woman and this particular black woman, Tina Gordon? Yeah, Tina is amazing. Every director is not an actor's director. A director has a lot to do on a set. Like, do we got the? Oh, do we have the the, the, the scene right? Like, um, just so so many things. Shot list. It's. Um, I mean, she she's got a team, but she's at the end of the day responsible for a lot. How it how it comes out and some only pay attention to part of it. Like, like, let me just get this beautiful shot. Okay, action. And then you don't have very much communication with the actors, unless it's something bad or, you know, something that they got to clean up or that's not the vision that we were going for. Um, Tina also uh, is part of the writing of the script as well. So 
to to have her be invested as in 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 that way and an actor's director as in she knew how to communicate she knew how to positively pour in and for that pouring in to be from a black woman man i don't think people understand the power of when someone looks like you in a setting oh. like this. i don't it, yes. it, you can't put that in words so it just meant so much for her to be in all her excellence Mm -hmm. And then to share that, um, to share that space. And again, it wasn't just her being a dope ass queen at what she did, but also she was kind. And also she just knew how to communicate um, with so much love and enthusiasm. Because that's the thing too. Mm -hmm. You can know how to communicate, but everything can be very serious because, you know, it's a lot of money yeah. going on. <laughs> like we got to get this right <laughs> in time. A lot of things yeah. going on. But for her to also be kind, joy. And when you get joy from the director, when you get joy from the lead actor, when you get joy from the production company up top, like you can't help but to have a film that is that that oozes that through the screen to the audience. And again, the power of storytelling in general is for you to take whatever and pass it on. So we pass it on joy. We passing on all this good gospel music. We passing on this positive message. So, yay team, praise this. I am yes. ready. Yes, Aunt Liz oh, gonna yeah. be. It's, it's, it's such a great like. It, it is is such a great film. How did you get the role? How did you come to get the role? Well, I'm I'm by Coastal. I have um I, I'm based in LA. Also have uh, Southeast representation. Shout out to the SY Talent, who's my agent, and I I've. I've Got an audition and did my best. However, the audition I had was months before I got the actual call that I got the part. And um, so I had, you know, as an actor, you can't get hung up on whether or not you get a role or not. Um, yeah. But then that's just a, a quick way to crazy. So you just do your best and you let it go. So I had let it go. And it was only uh, a few months later that I found out that I was going to spend more time in Atlanta, which is always a good thing. I love me some ATL. No man stands alone. And also no man or woman um, is an island and mm -hmm. nobody got to where they got to by themselves. So I do want yeah. to shout out Will Packer and his crew and his amazing love for, for talent um, mm -hmm. and, and supporting people's dreams, especially uh, black, black women. So uh, um, Will Packer was also him, he and Shayla Cowan were also the production team behind the Oscars. So they knew me and gave me the opportunity to audition to be the voice and I was blessed to have gotten that role. But what brought me to LA was being in front of the camera, um, being behind the camera as a voiceover artist is a beautiful extension of my journey. But this is what really brought me here. So to give me the opportunity to audition for Aunt Liz, again, I'm not, I um, rec always wanna recognize and give shout out and love to people who have given me the opportunity. So thank you, Will Packer. Thank you, Shayla Cowan. Thank you, Tim Story. Uh, thank you, Joanna Byer, yeah. like all the folks behind the scene. Um, thank you. Yeah.